Hi, welcome to the video. We're going to create a custom widget in this video in which we'll be able to simply replace the children. So for example, right here, we'll have a card which has some specific styling and then we can provide our own children to then of course use this throughout the application. So right now we have a very basic app. We have my app here. It returns a material app which has a scaffold. The scaffold has an app bar. It has a body and currently it has a column, container, and a centered card. We're going to make a new folder and inside of lib that's going to be called common and common is simply going to have a, we'll call this, uh, give it a name of app card. So app card dot dot. So this app card will represent a card that we want to show that's specific to our application. So let's make a stateful widget and we'll call this one app card. You can call this whatever you want and we'll make sure that that uses the material dot dot. And then here on our app card, we can have a final widget and that will be child. That's essentially going to be the child that we pass through. So then at that point in time, we can say that we have this required and that required is going to be this dot child. That'll be the child that we pass through. And then here in our app card state, we want to say widget.child. That allows us to pass in the child and user. For example, inside of here, we can now replace inside of main.dart that with an app card. And we'll need to import the app card like so. And the child, which we're currently passing through, which is a column, should then stay the same. If you notice right now, it will no longer be a card. It'll simply be a column with the children of text which currently says developer.school. We could then save that, add another text, and we can see we have those both texts right now. So inside of our app card, we could go ahead and make some customizations. For example, we could return a column, and that column could have the main axis size of main axis size.max. We can have the cross axis alignment of stretch we could then, because this is a column, we want to return a children. And when we return the children, we want to return a new card. So we'll have the card at that point. We can set a margin on the card. So we'll maybe give the edge insets all of something like 20. We could also set the color to colors.white just for now. And then we can have the child, which is the child inside of the card. That can have a new container. The container can have a padding of edge insets all 20. And then we can set the child equal to that widget dot child. When we save the file, we should now see that we have a card. So we're able to sort of still inject that widget dot child, the child elements wherever we want inside of this custom component, even though we have this other logic surrounding that. So now we have a custom card. Anytime we wanted to add stuff to this custom card, we simply pass it in as a children prop or a child prop rather to our app card. We can make this even more fancy. Maybe we want a decoration on side of the card. So we'd have to put that inside of our cards container. Let's take a look at that right now. So if we then add just below this child right here, we can have a decoration. Looks like we need to move this one up one actually. So we'll just put this above the uh, bracket there. So then we have a box decoration. That box decoration can have a color of colors dot white. So that will be what we're creating at this point is a box shadow. And this will make more sense in a second. So the way that we create a box shadow is we add a box shadow. This is now an array because we can have multiple shadows at that point. For now, we'll just simply have a box shadow equal to the color of colors.black. We'll create an offset at that point. The offset can be offset 10, 10. And when we save the file, we can instantly see now that we have that box shadow right there. Next up, I want to create a border to that card. So we can have a border of border.all. And we'll set that to the colors colors dot black and the width of two. So now we have a border alongside that box shadow. So now you can see why you would want to have this sort of custom card. No longer are we simply just wrapping the card 
and then adding some particular column from the main.dart. Now we have some custom styles. We can also take this a little bit further. Right now we're simply passing the child through as the app cards, but we don't really have the option to sort of customize how the card looks. So we can also inside of our app cards, we can go to the top and we can make a final and we'll do something like border, border style, a final color, box shadow color. And then we'll have to pass this in to our app cards. But because these things aren't required, I haven't marked them with the at required flag. We can then go down and we can say inside of our card when we render it for the border, we can check to see whether we have a border style. If we do have a border style, it will use that border style that we pass in because of these double question marks here. And then we can do the same for the box shadow. So we can say widget dot box shadow color. And then we can either pass in the box shadow itself. Alternatively, we can use the box shadow, which will be a by default colors.black. So we can have a look at our main.dart. We can now, because we have both the border style and the box shadow color, we can, for example, say that we have this box shadow color of colors dot blue. Looks like we have made a mistake here. And that's because we've said box shadow and instead of actually rendering the box shadow, we simply tried to render a color. So let's remove that. And where we have the colors instead, we'll put it right there. So now we can see we have this blue color. And that's because we specified that inside of our app card. If we then wanted to duplicate this, we could go down and we could remove that box shadow color. This one would then be black, of course. And finally, we could have another one just under here. And we also have something, the border style, which we can look at. So we could pass in on this final one. We might want something like a border style of border dot all. We'll pass in the color, colors dot amber. Maybe we want a width of 10, so a very thick border. And then the box shadow color of colors dot, we'll say amber accent. So certainly not the prettiest card I've ever seen in my life, but <laughs> there we go. That's how we create a sort of custom card, a custom widget that we can then sort of just pass in the child elements to and to do some customization. I hope you found it useful. If you do, then of course, hit that subscribe button. Let me know what you think inside of the comments section below. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope to see you soon in my next video. Bye.